So in today's episode, we're going to Knoll House and Park in Seven Oaks. But first, we're going to roll those tiles. What's going on everybody and welcome back to another episode of my series of day in the life so as you can see just behind me there today's trip we've come to Knoll House which is in Seven Oaks in Kent not been here before literally on our doorstep it's about a 15 minute drive away for us here so uh, again sun's out beautiful day I don't know an awful lot about Knoll House to be fair um, all I know is that there is wild deer uh, you can't feed them um, but they are just roaming the grounds I'm excited to hopefully see those but right now let's make our way to the house Knoll is a country house and former Archbishop's Palace owned by the National Trust. It is situated within Knoll Park, a 1,000 acre park located immediately to the south east of Sevenoaks in West Kent. The house ranks in the top five of England's largest houses under any measure used and it occupies a total of four acres. Okay, so we've just booked in. Uh, apparently I'm gonna be very limited to where I can actually record today. So I'm not too sure how much footage I'm actually gonna get. Uh, I'll get as much as I can, obviously, but uh, there's quite a few restrictions in place here. Sitting proudly within Kent's last medieval deer park, Noel offers something for everyone. Immerse yourself in the vast estate and follow in the footsteps of tourists who have visited Noel showrooms for 400 years. Originally built as an archbishop's palace, Noel passed through royalty to the Sackville family who still live here today. Take in the scale and magnificence of this 600 year old estate by exploring the grand courtyards or wander the winding paths in the parkland, still populated by wild deer. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so we've just come out of the main house and easily it's the best place I've been to. Wow, the history, the furniture, everything in there. So impressive. A little bit oppressive. Um, feel quite heavy. My chest feels quite quite heavy um, as a result there. But wow, what a place. Absolutely amazing inside. Dawn Clams actually got uh, pinched and touched. I did. Dawn Clams actually got pinched and touched in there. And I've got to admit, it did feel extremely heavy in there, to be fair. But wow, what a place. This place is easily my favourite place I've been to as part of the National Trust and the English, English Heritage as well. Without a shadow of a doubt, it's the best place I've been to so far. Amazing. For centuries, visitors to Knoll have been met by the imposing Gatehouse Tower. Passing through the huge wooden doors with the tower arching into the sky above, many have gazed in awe at the impressive entrance to this historic house. The commanding tower dominates Knoll's west front and is thought to have been added by Thomas Bouchier, Archbishop of Canterbury, between 1472 and 1474. If you climb the 77 steps to the steep spiral case to the top of the tower, you're rewarded with panoramic views of Knoll Park. The breathtaking sight is worth the steps as it takes the vast parkland with its wild deer, giving visitors the chance to appreciate the scale of Knoll's complex 17th century roofline. With its many chimneys and carved stone leopards, which was the Sackville's family's emblem. Known to his friends as Eddie, Edward Sackville West was a novelist and music critic who lived in the Gatehouse Tower at Knoll between 1926 and 1940. Eddie was passionate about art, music, and literature and was regularly visited by artists of the Bloomsbury Group. These included the novelist Virginia Woolf and the painter Duncan Grant as well as his famous cousin, Vita Sackville West, who was the gardener and poet who lived close by. So it is a shame that we wasn't able to record in the house, to be fair, but I think it's where they're trying to uh, preserve everything in there. It was very, very dark. There was lots of glass in there as well. So uh, there was so much reflection. So recording wouldn't really have worked in there, even if I was allowed. So I've managed to get some photos. Uh, so I hope you've managed to capture the sheer brilliance of Knoll House. It was unbelievable. With regard to the grounds, so we've not walked an awful lot around the grounds to be fair. The grounds are vast, the grounds are absolutely huge. We've not seen any wild deer yet, but we're not going to go looking either. So the grounds for me are not as impressive as Winston Churchill's uh, house in uh, Chartwell, uh, which was my last vlog I've done. But this house is by far the best house I've been in yet uh, from everywhere where I've visited recently, to be fair. Fantastic place. Uh, that's it. Okay, so that's it. So that's going to bring an end to today's video. Uh, thank you so much for joining us as we walk around our house and grounds here. Fantastic place. Thoroughly, thoroughly recommend it. Thank you all so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed today's content. Please leave me a comment down below as well and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Once again, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to see you all very soon in the next one. Take care. Bye. Come on.